Hi guys. Uh, just an update, well, or the beginning of another project. I thought I'd document this one from the beginning because it's a little bit strange. And also run my logic past you and see what you guys think of my logic anyway. I'll be building the uh, Berg Panther Tiger P. Uh, first of all, Armor and Scale did a review of this kit from Dragon. Uh, a month or so ago. I'll post a link to it. So I'm not going to get into an inbox review of it. Uh, so quickly, a little bit of background from the research I could find. What they did is they made four of these things in total. And it's uh, a stripped down and gutted uh, Ferdinand slash elephant. And it was only assigned to elephant battalions, the four of them. Uh, and now the whole Porsche, Tiger, Elephant, Slash, Ferdinand, and this one in particular, this one as well. A little interesting uh, in that they were a diesel electric drive, kind of like a modern locomotive. It had two engines. Each engine drove an electrical generator and the electrical generator supplied power to an electrical motor that uh, drove the rear wheels. So very much like a, a modern locomotive or sort of a, a streetcar without a diesel involved. Now what struck me as strange is every picture I've seen in this kit is only set up for towing other than with the, the mast. I don't know if that's picking it up. No, the mast. Let's show you this one. Okay. I, I like this model, or I like the look of it, but it's kind of odd as well. And that if you do it with the mast down, it's very plain looking. It looks almost like a boat to me. And it gets even worse if you do it with the crane and mast up. It looks like a really lopsided sail ship. It looks like it should have a big sail hanging there. Uh, now back to what I was saying about the drive units. This thing and the elephant was not known as a reliable vehicle nor was it fast. It was even with its uh, power plant uh, the the weight of an elephant or a Ferdinand was 65 tons. It was too much weight really for the system they were using and it caused a lot of breakdowns. Specifically in which components I don't know. That's not mentioned. There's not a lot written about them that I can find. If you know more than me, please post a comment. But what I was thinking is this thing was only set up for towing. And what struck me as strange is you've got two presumably very large electrical generators on board. So why you wouldn't use a tow cable or a winch, I should say, an electrical winch using power from your two onboard electrical motors to tow stuff at least out of you know the deep ditch or the worst spot it's in rather than rely on a power plant that can barely move its own in this the case of the, uh, the recovery vehicle was 60 tons as compared to the 65 for the elephant slash Ferdinand if the power plant can barely move 65 tons, or it's taxed and overstressed moving 65 tons. If the other one's got a mechanical failure, you're now asking the power plant that can barely move 65 tons to move 125 tons, which makes no sense. You're probably going to break it even more. Sort of park this thing, run up your generators to full voltage, and use an electrical winch makes far more sense to me because then you're putting your full power plant into moving 65 tons which apparently you can do just barely but without taxing the running gear part at least you're not taxing the electrical motors it's just the generators so to that end what I did is I'm going to modify this uh, so I'll start with with uh, the Berg Panther that Cohen and others have done from the Tallery. 
I really like the idea of that spade that digs in, so I've picked up one of these. And I'm going to move and make sure this is on camera. This is, to me, is one, and it's meant for their 18-ton uh, their half track as an add-on. And don't worry about this, it has the spade. Most of the back of the box is just about different towing configurations based on weight. Not an issue for me. This is what you actually get in the kit. There's not a lot there. Fortunately, they do include the attachment points, which are... Hold on, let me get something white behind here. These ones here actually attach into the frame of the 18 tonner. I'm going to have to cut off the C shape and use just this part. And I have checked based on some eyeballing it. I do have enough width at the back of the Berg Tiger to add this in and use these as my locating points at the base, which will be well down here. Yep, down here. Sorry, it's a new camera mount, getting used to where it is, instead of moving the camera around and shaking and everything. Uh, it includes some pulley systems and everything else, which will form some spares for me. Uh, and that brings me to the second part. I picked up two winches. These are apparently for 124th... Uh, trucks, like fire trucks and stuff like that is what they're advertised for. I got them from eBay. Uh, it's a guy down in the States. I can't remember his name, but it seems like he makes them himself. Now this one looks more like it's meant to be... Uh, I, I can't think of the proper term for it, but it's meant to be powered by another pulley. But it's externally powered. Whereas this one... Oops looks more like it's got its own electrical housing in there and it looks beefy enough that I'm gonna have to find some place on the the back of this beast to mount it because I had a look at uh, let's go back to the pictures for a second I had a look at first I was thinking about just the back of the uh, not the turret section the casemate or whatever it's called putting a hole in there and running a cable out of it and and actually looking at the kit pieces I'm not sure if it's going to show well here and there we go it's hiding on me there it is this is not very big to put a couple of crew members in and have a winch of any sort of size with a cable running out the back. Uh, so that's why I've decided to go with an external one, an external winch. Uh, so what I'll be doing is only doing update builds on this occasionally. Uh, but I was just hoping you guys would confirm my logic and that it makes sense to go with an external winch electrically driven on one of these and this is a better looking one than this one to give you an idea of the size I've got I'm working on a 252 just now which is the artillery spotter slash reconnaissance version of the 250 half track I'm not sure I'm going to get these to tilt but not very well probably tip over in a second. That gives you an idea of the size of it. Given that the half track I believe is right around the six foot high mark. Fairly beefy component and makes good size for the kit. So there's those. I'm not sure if there was something else I meant to mention. Oh yeah, that's the other thing, like the uh, the Berg Panther 
because this even with the sail up or the rigging whatever you want to call it it's not apparently clear what it does so hopefully with that big spade sitting up there a cable or a winch sitting in the back it'll be a little bit more apparent and just like the Berg Panther has all sorts of wood slats added to create stuff it seems like the Germans got fairly creative with the way they, they used wood on those ones I'm probably going to build a, a spares box on the flat area here of the, uh, the upper hull and throw in some spare parts I've got kicking around I think for some reason I've got an engine block and stuff like that out of resin that I can toss in there along with some tools and dirty it up and make it look like a, a work vehicle anyway uh, I'll keep you updated from time to time but in the meantime let me know what you think have a good one